All right, guys. Today, talking about S30V. And there's a good reason we're talking about S30V. We'll get to that after the cutting, though. Did you guys know I did the factory testing on this edge, as well as the first sharpening? And as you can see by that little silver notch right there, this is a factory second. Now, the only thing I could find wrong with this prior to modifying it or anything like that is if you look back here by the plunge grind, the way the edge is all funny like that. This is probably the least sharpened factory Spyderco that I've ever gotten. <laughs> It looked like somebody took it to their sharpening setup one pass and made it wavy and they called it a factory second. It's the only thing I can figure. I've found zero other problems with it. Things perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. Went back together fine after I modified it. So I tested it. And... I believe that it being sharpened kind of funny like that actually was a good thing. So we'll go ahead and blow that cutting out of the way real quick. Get back here and talk about what you guys want to hear and what I want to share with you. Now that we got that cutting out of the way, real quick, cover the factory edge and the first edge again. Factory edge, like I said, not impressive at all. 36 total feet in a one inch section. And as you guys can see, this side of the DLC I cleaned up most of what was some wear went away and this side I didn't touch yet you can see the different spots where it is still uh, I, I don't need just cardboard residue so like I said sharpened it the first time ran that test that was 115 feet fine edge 89 feet working edge for a total of 204 feet and in just one sharpening that was a 167 foot increase in the same one inch section now why do i think it being sharpened so weird actually saved it don't think it got all all that excess heat build up and fatigue why? Because not a whole lot of S30V breaks 200 feet. Especially on the first sharpening like that. So, ran that, got busy, it sat for a while, went ahead and got it finished up. Put the second edge on it, cut it off, put the third edge on it, 
ran the test again. On the third edge, 127 feet fine edge, 93 feet working edge for a total of 220 feet. Sharpened it again, same way as always, for those of you that are new, up to 1500 grit on the KME, stropped five passes per side on 6.3 and one micron, then cut in a one inch section. So on the fourth edge, 130 feet fine edge, 95 feet working edge for a total of 225 feet. By far the best S30V that I've tested yet, especially from a mass production standpoint like this. Couldn't, couldn't be any happier with the way this tested. So I am going to get to using this now and see how it actually stands up. Now, why was it important that I went ahead and got this done? Well... I have this S45 to test since you're not going to be getting S30V on these anymore and it just so happened to work out that got a really good production example of S30V here to put up against S45. Now I am going to take into consideration the normal S30V numbers. And that's usually in the 170 to maybe 185 total feet cut for S30V. This just seems like a one-off example that, like I said, the only thing I can figure is it got saved from that excess heat and fatigue. And I will at some point get a hardness on this to figure out was this actually run harder or am I correct and not getting all that heat build up fatigue from that heat actually gave you something that was going to perform the way it should have right out of the gate going to be interesting to compare these two and like I said I still have plenty of other S30V examples I have already tested that we're going to put up against these also, I have no idea what I'm going to get with this. The factory edge has been used, so I am going to sharpen it and get to testing this. As well as all the other stuff I showed you guys about nine days or so ago. However long it's been now. I'm going to get working on that. So, this isn't going to be a long video. Super happy that I found some really good performing S30V. And I'm going to put it, like I said, put it through some use, report back, and let you guys know how this does as compared to the others. Something like the S30V Freak. I believe that went about two and a half, maybe three weeks under normal use before I couldn't bring it back anymore to use it. So curious to see how this does some nice s30v some s45 vn coming up you got any questions comments how's s45 been for you if you have it and do you guys have any that you think is more than average s30v love to hear about it talk about it all that stuff. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.